Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, hey. So, um, hi. It's Friday night and I just got back from seeing Birdman. And it's a masterpiece. Like, uh, before I get into it, um, the first thing I have to praise is the direction the cinematography my got, without sounding too poncy about it. Um, it's kept very invasive, it's very uptight, very close, and very early on, you, you can swear that the first 10-15 minutes of the movie is all one tracking shot. There's no cuts, you're looking for cuts or edits, it's all seamless, it's just they're following Michael Keaton or whoever. It starts off with Michael Keaton in his underpants in his dressing room. It follows from there, to the stage, to him talking to Zach Galifianakis. And it's just seamless. The direction on this is top notch, and I really look forward to seeing more from that director. Um, second thing, obviously, the cast. It's just they're all, they're all bringing the right game here. Um, I should get into the story first. Michael Keaton, in a strange parallel to his own life, is playing a, a character actor called Regan Thompson, who made it big in made it big in the nineties, playing a character called Birdman whose last movie was out in 1992, he's aged and he's trying to go legit since then. It's not really worked out, so now he's trying to break through and make this McCarthy pay on Broadway just so he can be legit, just so he can be reputable. In the words of the great Ian Brown, he wants to be adored. That's my girlfriend over there. Girlfriend, girlfriend review. It was good. See, it was good. Now, Fuck you. <laughs> all right, Murphy. <laughs> anyway, enough of the girlfriend of you. So yeah, um, bit, yeah. Well, let me see. Let me get that back on track. Without all that nonsense. Yeah, um, it's it's brilliant. He's top notch. He's he's trying to put this play together. He's investing all of his time and money into it. It's but he's slowly losing his mind as he does it. And he's got a there's this little devil on his shoulder, this little voice in his head, which is basically personified as the character of Birdman, the, the character that he played, which who's just whispering in his ear saying, to hell with all this theatre shit, let's just go back to blockbusters, man, that's what the people want. And it's, um, he's just luring him back to the dark side constantly. It's, it's brilliant, thrilling to watch. Um, Edward Norton plays this, brilliant stage actor who is eccentric, to put it nicely, and an asshole, to put it bluntly. Um, those two have amazing chemistry together, and it's Edward Norton's finest performance in years. There's a lot of meta messages on how a lot of the best actors are all signed up to franchises these days, and it sort of cheapens the whole acting profession, and it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Um, Emma Stone's in it, she plays his daughter, she's got a bit of a drug addict past and now she's his daughter slash PA Zach Garf she uh, yeah she really steals it in a few scenes herself actually but then you get that from Emma Stone she's just quality uh, Zach Galifianakis is in it a bit he sort of comes and goes as his best friend slash lawyer slash producer on the play yeah pretty good doesn't get much to do he's not being Alan from The Hangover he's not being typical Zach Galifianakis but no he's pretty standard there is one scene where he just, conf just confronts Michael Keaton after he's had this breakdown in his dressing room and he's just like, you, you know I'm proud of you, right? You know this is this is taking balls. This is really gone. So, it, yeah, all told, not a bad, not a bad movie. You know, I would definitely go again. Um, and, oh, and there is one thing, like all the way through, not along with the camera work, which is just excellent, there's this... There's this drumming which keeps the movie alive. There's just this crazy drum beat, just any time, just keeps it fast paced and it really sells the intensity, especially whenever his madness takes over and you just see him just out the window. It it escalates, it gets more fast paced, it really it drums up a storm, effectively. And it's just that that seems to be a recurring theme through the movie, but it's it's definitely worth a watch. It's one of the best black comedies you'll ever see. And I can't recommend it enough. So that's all I really have to say on the matter. If there's any more movies or anything you want, want me to watch, give me a shout. Hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, feel free to tell me what an idiot I am. Night-night.